you know, everybody's a tough guy with their anonymous <laughs> name and their two cents in a comment on YouTube and on uh, on Instagram and, and those places. It's a whole different thing to uh, to do something about it. And so while you're critiquing everybody's actions on the web and adding your two cents, people are going out and making three cents. You understand? So all you comment heroes, all you people with comment muscles, wake the f- up. Nobody gives a shit. 99% of people think you're trolls and really delete you. I just let you stay in my comments and I smile. I smile because I know how this ends up. And I win and you lose. guys that was Lucas my buddy I'll tell you guys how we met real quick um, you guys know the dealers that I go to he was actually looking for a, a Skag V ride and he looked up a video and I popped up the right standard versus Skag so uh, that's pretty cool so we kind of met off the internet been talking for the past couple years um, so I'm storing my mowers um, up there at his shop uh, just to make room in my garage man it was so jam-packed so just so I can like work on stuff and keep more stuff in there so uh, things like that and that's pretty much it I, I, I they were basically it was all rock so they were using an excavator and kinda getting that rock out of there so that's pretty cool up at the shop uh, I tried to get him on video but you know I'll get him one day I know he's watching this right now I'll get you one day on video man uh, <laughs> But um, other than that, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to go hang out with the girlfriend, and uh, that is my Saturday. So I'm going to try to add some more stuff onto this video maybe uh, tomorrow. Um, I, I had a lot of suggestions about that trailer lighting, so I'm going to take off that little harness on the end and make sure all the, the ground wires and stuff like that are connected securely. Um, and stuff like that but that's really it guys got the drone out a little bit today and I was showing him how to fly the drone he got one and uh, and that's really it guys okay of course I can't find my tripod at the moment so I'm gonna be holding the camera so Tyler asks how has vlogging changed your business for you or helped you grow as a person I feel like I'd like to start but I guess there's a fear that I accumulate a bunch of haters I'd like to help others, but will it bring problems? Okay. I'm not going to get into the hater thing uh, too much here. It's one of those things that you're just going to have to deal with it. And people in your life, I hate to tell you, even if you think that you're in school or something or working and there's somebody there that dislikes you or what you're doing, there's always going to be somebody like that, whether... Uh, that be one of your friends, one of your peers, somebody your school, somebody in the workplace, somebody somewhere that has seen you today walking through the grocery store, didn't like the outfit you had on, didn't like your shoes, didn't like something about you, didn't like your hair, uh, and they probably told somebody something about it. Somebody has hated on you before, and that's just that's just how it is. So whenever you broadcast yourself yourself out to the world out to more people maybe if you've seen a hundred people somebody's hated on you well if you're seeing by 
thousands of people, you're going to have some people hating. That, that's just how it is. And uh, your first few times, your few, first hundred times, you're going to get freaked out. You're going to get mad. You're going to get angry. You're going to say, why are you doing this? But you got to remember that this is affecting other people's lives. Um, you helping them through it. If, if somebody doesn't have anything, you're like the mentor that's helping them out. So uh, don't don't get discouraged by haters. That's it's don't just don't. If you don't think I have it, I have it a lot. I have had it for years. I'm that's that's why people think that I'm like a a bad guy. I'm a cocky guy. It's not because of that, but it's because I've had years, guys. When nobody was watching, I had haters. Okay. When there was a few people watching, I had people hating, and it was hard to get through that. But I had other people, like Geek to Freak, that had been doing it for years, just like I, I've been doing it for years now. And when back when I started, he was the guy that had been doing YouTube for years and already had that hate, and he helped me through that. So I want to help you guys through that. So, um, sorry, there's a little thing on my lens here. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> so don't worry about the haters. It's fine. Vlogging, I think documenting the behind the scenes for your business and work. Even your clients want to see that. I really believe that. I think it's very cool uh, for any business to see the behind the scenes. So like I always say a t-shirt company, let's say instead of a lawn care company, it's a t-shirt company and they do the behind the scenes of the press and like the shirts getting printed and out on a conveyor belt. That's cool because I'm the client. I want to see that. So if they technically vlogged or documented that behind the scenes, that's interesting. So you document your work, help whoever you want to help. If you have advice that you just feel deep down, I need to get this out. How do I help people start a lawn care business? How do I start? How, how do I get somebody to start a landscaping business? If you have that document it and push it out to the world, that's all I can say. Uh, hate's going to come. I'm going to prepare you for that right now. Somebody's going to comment on there just totally trying to cut your throat, roast you to death. Just let it go, man. It's just words on a screen. Um, but remember that all these numbers, okay, these views are actual people that you can affect and that you are affecting. Remember that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped and motivated you a little bit. Don't mind the haters, man. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.